Today we're going to look at the Tracer BN series solar charge controller. Got it in the mail a while back. Uh, the weather hasn't been cooperating, so I wasn't in a hurry to check it out. But I did uh, know the specs to look online and find the, the brochure on it or the owner's user, user manual. And I like to print them out because the ones that come with the charge controllers are so much smaller and my eyes are getting older. So that's what I did. So this one came from China. It was cheaper because I wasn't in a hurry because of the weather. And as it turned out, it's just been sitting here for a month waiting to install. So it came packed pretty nicely. This one's a 40 amp, came with the remote, Let's see. this is the communication cable, and battery temperature, the, the, this temperature is going to be very helpful, I am replacing the Reno G 40 amp controller. Uh, it's it's the tracer uh, 42010. No, I'm sorry, it's 4210RN. Even though it's 40 amp, it's got a limit of 400 watts. Well, I'm going to be putting 600 watts through this. Uh, the reason I chose the this one, it, it uh, states right in the paperwork that. Uh, your maximum solar it will take is 520 but if you exceed that and if you exceed your amps it doesn't shut down it doesn't damage the controller it actually just limits the output to 40 amps you can't ask for better than that so as long as I'm on the subject the way I have my solar set up I have 400 amp 100 watt panels on one side of the trailer and then I have two more for a total of six on the other side of the trailer the chance of all four of them making or all six of them making maximum at the same time is very little so the times that I'll actually make uh, 40 amps is going to be fairly limited that won't be losing very much power from the limiting section of it let's see what's in here oh yeah here's the here's the owner's manual that comes with it it's identical to the one you can print online but uh, it's a hell of a difference in what I can see so this is a very heavy charge controller. It's got this huge heat sink in it for natural ventilation to uh, cool it. It doesn't rely on any fans. And not needing fans also increases the efficiency if you're not running a fan to operate it. Here's the instructions for the remote meter. I believe this is going to be very self-explanatory, just like the one I had for the Renogy system. Uh, re relatively inexpensive. Um, this is the up model for the other EP Solar uh, charge controller, MPPT. Uh, it's just a heavier feel and and the heat exchanger is on the front instead of on the back. Since I was going to use this towards the maximum capability of the charge controller, I wanted the, the more expensive one, hoping that the quality would be better and it would take the, take the excess load better. Anyway, hang around. We'll install it uh, uh, in a few weeks and show you what, how it works. <laughs> 